Hi everybody and I hope you're enjoying the videos and I hope you're enjoying hearing all about God's word and the stories that he's telling us and don't forget these stories are not made up but these stories are written down for us in the Bible and they all happened they are all real so today's story is about Jesus and the disciples now Jesus had 12 special friends and they all decided that they were going to celebrate what's called the Feast of the Passover. Now this was a celebration and it was about a story in Exodus and I'm sure that you all know the story but I read it again today to make sure that I remembered it okay. And it's a story of how the children of Israel were in Egypt and the Pharaoh was a very bad man and wouldn't let them go. And God sent all these miracles to try and persuade the Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go. And the last miracle that he sent down was that the firstborn animal, the firstborn child was going to die. But God told Moses to tell the children of Israel to paint the blood of a lamb over their doors and their firstborns would not die, their firstborn animal wouldn't die, their firstborn child wouldn't die, that their families would be safe. But when the angel passed over the Israelites' houses, the angel didn't pass over the Pharaoh's house and the firstborn the firstborn child or the firstborn animal of all the different types of animals they all died and so Pharaoh then let the Israelites go and so Jesus and his disciples would have celebrated the feast of the Passover and that's the reason why it's called the Passover because the angel passed over the houses of the Israelites so then Jesus and the disciples went in to this room and they all sat around a big table and they all had something to eat. So there would have been really, really nice foods to eat, a wee bit different from what we would eat today. So they would have had bread like this. And this bread doesn't have any yeast in it. So it means to say that the bread that we eat today is all quite big and quite fluffy and quite light. Whereas this bread is quite quite dry and this one has raisins in it, but I don't know whether Jesus' one would have raisins in it or not. It just depends. But it's it's really, really, it's nice if you're having korma or an Indian meal, but maybe not that you would just eat every day. But this was a special type of bread that they would have eaten in Jesus' time. So Jesus and the disciples were all having this meal together and Jesus and the disciples maybe would have had, well this is Ribena, but they maybe would have had wine and Jesus got the piece of bread and dipped it into the wine and he said whoever dips their bread in with me at the same time is going to betray me and that means that that they're going, the person that was going to betray Jesus, that was going to let Jesus be got by the bodies, was going to dip their bread in with wine, in the wine, at the same time Jesus did. So I'm sure that you all know the story, and I'm sure that you all know that it was Judas that told the authorities, told all the bad men where Jesus was going to be so they could arrest him. So when Judas did this with Jesus, after he was finished eating the bread, he then left the room. Now the rest of the disciples weren't really, really astounded by this. They didn't really think that this was very strange because of the fact that Judas had left the room. He was the one that looked after all the money. He was the one that paid for a whole lot of things. So they just thought that he had just left the room. But when he had left the room, Jesus then got another piece of bread 
and Jesus broke it in half. And Jesus said, this is my body. And he got the wine and he said, this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. So that's why we celebrate communion today. That's why sometimes we go straight into Sunday school and all the adults go into church and they have communion together. So it's to make us remember that Jesus died on the cross for us. And so he told us to have this special me as a family of Christians, as a family in church that we can all celebrate together. And after the meal was finished, do you remember I said about the disciples having worn sandals all the time and their feet wouldn't have been very clean because it was dusty roads and there was just lots of dirt and dust on the roads and the disciples would have had to have their feet washed all the time by servants. Well, Jesus on this occasion went over to the side of the room and he put on an apron and he went over with a basin of water and was going to wash the disciples' feet. Now the disciples said, no, 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 you're, you're our master, you're our teacher, you're our leader, you can't wash our feet. And Jesus said, no. He said that he wanted all the disciples to go into the world and be nice to other people to look after other people, to tell them about Jesus and to remind them, remind the disciples that they are no better than anybody else. That even though servants do this, they should become like servants and do this for other people. Well, that's really a lot to remember today, isn't it? That's really a big lot to remember. So we'll think about it again. So we have the bread and the wine and we do this to remember Jesus. So we all have a meal together and we all take part in it. And as a family, as a Christian family, we do this to remember Jesus. And Judas, well, that teaches us really that Jesus knows all the bad things that we're thinking about. Jesus knew when he told Judas that he knew that the person that dipped the bread in the wine with Jesus was the person that was going to betray him. So we know that Jesus knows everything about us, all the bad things that we do in life and we have to ask him to forgive us. And the third thing to remember is that Jesus became a servant. Now he is the king of all kings and yet Jesus became a servant. And so he wants us to remember that as he became a servant, so must we when we're helping other people and doing things for God. Well, I hope you're enjoying all the things we're talking about and I know there was lots to remember this week but I hope whenever you're doing your colouring ends that you'll remember some of the things we've talked about. So for anybody that didn't have a pack last week and is drawing their crosses at home I just put a palm branch on the bottom of my cross and I'm sure that yours are far better than mine and that you can colour a lot better than what I can colour too. So there we go, there's my palm branch. Now this week we're going to add on a cup and we're going to add on some bread. But if you don't have a pack, you can draw these on your shelf. So again, I am sure that your drawing is so much better than mine.
There we go, a cup. And we'll put some red in for the wine. Whoops. And we'll draw some bread. And I can colour that in later. So I hope you can see the bread okay. So if you have a pack, that's if you don't have a pack, but if you have a pack, you can go ahead and get your cross from last week with your palm branch on it. And then you can cut out very carefully. And if you need the help of an adult to help you cut it out, you can get an adult to help you cut it out. And there's the bread. And then this is the goblet of wine that Jesus gave to the disciples. So I'm just going to quickly colour these in. And I have seen some photos of the boys and girls colouring and cutting and with their palm branches from last week and they look amazing. All your brilliant artwork. So much better than mine. red at the top to represent the red wine and then we're going to glue these on now it doesn't really matter what side you glue them on but I'm going to glue them on the right hand side and I coloured in my cross from last week too to make it look a bit better So there we go. So we have the palm branch from last week and from this week we have the bread and the wine that Jesus asked us to do in remembrance of him. And keep on sending the photographs in because they are absolutely amazing to see all the beautiful artwork that you are all doing. Let's all pray together. Hands apart, together and under our chins. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending Jesus to the earth. We thank you for all the miracles that he performed. And we thank you, Lord, that he also taught us that we shouldn't be above ourselves, but we should be like him. And as Jesus became a servant, we should also serve you. We thank you, Lord, for all the boys and girls who are watching these videos. And we pray that you'll be with them all during these times. We pray that you'll help them with schoolwork. And we pray, Lord, that you will help them to be good for their mums and dads. And we pray, Lord, that they may know that you love all the little children. In Jesus' name, Amen.